want to say? There is no word as beautiful as Allah. No exam example as beautiful as Rasulullah sallallahu No lesson as beautiful as Islam. No song as melodious as Azan. Azan, afwan. Is the Azan a song? What you hear today in the masajid is unacceptable Islamically. You see how people turn the Adhan into, into, into melodious performance? You know, where they go with the voice, Allah, up and down, up and down, up and down for, you know, two minutes straight. This is not allowed. And the four madhahib are against this. According to Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah, Imam Abu Hanifa, it is haram for you to even hear this Adhan. Where the people elongated, and turn it into, into something that you are entertained with. The adhan is to call you to salah. Bas. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Ashadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah. Hayya ala salah. Bas. It's calling people to salah. It is not performance. Having a good voice is good as not to make the people, you know, feel repelled by your voice. That's fine. But not a voice of beautification. And a man came to Abu Umar and told him, I love you for the sake of Allah. He told him, I hate you for the sake of Allah because of the manner in which you do the adhan and because you get paid for it. So no song is mel melodious as the adhan? I don't think so. No charity is meaningful as a guy, the rest is, is fine. Let's realize that Islam is forever beautiful and perfect. Please forward this message to get the thawab of passing on knowledge. This is most common among us. Most of us talk during adhan. Read this. Now this is very dangerous. The Holy Prophet, we already discussed that, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there's no Holy Prophet, said, Stop doing everything during Adhan. Even reading the Quran. The person who talks during the Adhan will not be able to say the Kalimat Shahada on his or her deathbed. Share this message with others. This is dangerous. Wallahi, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never said that. And look at the counter evidence. Malik, radiallahu rahimahu Allah, narrated in his muwatta. He said, at the time of Umar ibn al-Khattab, they would pray on Friday until Umar came out. When Umar ca came out and sat on the mimbar, and the muazzin was calling the adhan, Tha'laba said, we would sit and talk. Then when the muazzins fell silent, and Umar stood up to deliver the khutbah, we would listen attentively and none of us would speak. During the adhan, they were speaking. They only stopped when Umar anhu, would start giving the khutbah. Now, Umar radiallahu anhu, know, you know him. If something wrong happened in his presence, he's not going to let it slide. He acknowledged that. And Shaykh Al-Bani rahimahullah refuted those with this authentic narration. The Sahaba understood this. There is no such narration that you will not be able to say the kalima. Further, there is evidence that opposes that. So again, lying against the Messenger of Allah and then telling us to share these messages with others.